Creating City is actually easier than it looks like. So today I will show you how you can generate city just by using Google Maps, how to unwrap all buildings, and how to texture skyscrapers properly. To create the buildings and skyscrapers, you need to download and install a third-party add-in called Blender GIS. But don't worry, the add-in is completely free, and it is available on GitHub. The link is in the description. Once you have the add-in downloaded, go to Preferences, Add-ins, and click the Install button. Now you need to find the zip file and click Install. Just make sure that this box is checked after installation, meaning the add-in is enabled. If you go back to the 3D viewport, you can see a new menu on the top, and if you click on that menu, you will see a bunch of options. What we need to do right now is open a base map and select a small area that we will import to the 3D viewport as a plane, so we can use it to extract the elevation and the city elements from it. So go through the web geodata and click on base map. Now there are different options that you can choose from, but we can keep it as it is by default and just click on OK. Then you will see this world map that we will use to find a specific place. You can use a mouse wheel to zoom closer, but an easier method is pressing G on your keyboard and typing the name of the place you want to zoom in. After that, increase the zoom level to something like 18 and click OK. The add-in will find and zoom directly to the location you entered, so all you need to do now is find the perfect area for you. Keep in mind that this add-in has some limitations, and if you would like to generate the whole city with this add-in, you need to divide the city and import it in smaller chunks, because the add-in can import only a limited area. Now this looks pretty good, so if you hit E on your keyboard, Blender will create a plane with that area on the map. However, we still lack the elevation, so let's go back to the GI's button and choose Add Elevation. Again, we don't need to change anything, just hit OK. Now we also have a realistic elevation from NASA that is displacing our plane, but the displacement does not work properly because the plane does not have enough geometry to be displaced. Therefore, go to Subdivision Surface Modifier and increase the subdivision level. And because we already have the map with proper elevation, we can now extract the buildings and other city elements. So for the last time, Go back to the GIS button and click on Get OSM. Now make sure all these options are selected and press OK. Note that this process may take a while because it is a very computationally expensive process for Blender to handle, especially if you are creating a whole city. The whole process takes from a few seconds to a few minutes, so be patient. And after a few minutes, you should end up with this result. This method is much faster than creating the whole city from scratch, but it can still be better because we need to texture it. But before we add textures, it is important to find a good angle for our camera. So add the camera, and once you find a good angle, hit Ctrl-Alt-0 to set the camera to the view. Now, if you wonder how to exactly texture a city, well, we will use a method called image projection, and if you never heard about it before, here is how it works. Basically, we don't have to find and use different building materials for every building since that would be very time-consuming. The alternative method is using one single image of a city and then projecting the whole city into one image. I need to give credit to Ian Hubert for this method, since it is a very practical way of texturing complex geometry. So, if you would like to go check out his one-minute lazy tutorial on how to create a city, go ahead. Anyway, select the city, go to shading, and add new material. Add a glossy BSDF and plug a brick texture into the displacement socket to create nice windows. To have better control over the brick texture, use object texture coordinates, add empty, and set empty, and set empty as the target object. Now, if you rotate and scale the empty, you can adjust the texture more easily than doing it manually with nodes. Also add a Musgrave texture and bump node plug the Musgrave texture into the height input and the bump into normal to make the windows more organic. Maybe play with the scale and decrease the strength. Let's add some lights on top. Add a cube and create a new red emissive material. Select the roof of the highest skyscrapers and separate it into a new object. Then go to Geometry Nodes and use Instance on the Point node to instance the light on the top of the skyscrapers. Now we need to unwrap the buildings. So select the buildings, and since they are all one object, you can create one UV map for all of them. You can do this if you go to Edit Mode, select All Geometry, and Project from View. Just make sure that you are projecting from your camera, because otherwise the projection won't work properly. Now for the building texture, I will use this image I found on the internet. You can, of course, use a different one, but if you want to use the same texture, I will put a link in the description. Add the image to the material and connect it with the glossy BSDF with the Add Shader node. Now it is just about lighting and moving the UV maps so they match with the building in the picture. 
it is important that the image resolution is high enough so you don't see the pixelation. If there is a perspective, select the vertices and slide them, and the texture will match. This process will take some time, depending on how large your city is and how many buildings you have. Also, don't use the same building every time. Try to implement some variety so the buildings don't look all the same. You can also add some emissive planes to add more depth and separation between buildings. And that is basically all. For this specific render, I've added some nature elements to the foreground with depth of field to blur them a little bit. For the sky and clouds, I just used Real Sky, which is a free Blender add-in that you can download from the link in the description. Now it is time to render. You can create some camera motion, and you are good to go. If you have not watched my daily series about Clender 3D, go check this playlist, and if you have not seen this video, I recommend watching it. With that being said, I'll see you next time.